Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday to you, I think. It's Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. <laughs> it goes to show you how well some days go. Not that it was a bad day, but just sometimes you get so busy you forget about things. Um, oh, sorry. Pager for work is going off, if you can hear that in the background. Um, just kind of want to get on here, make a video. Um, I do have, you know, a couple things to open. Uh, I'm not going to open them all today, um, but or Angelica was out shopping yesterday. She did happen to find me some uh, prison basketball, so I was kind of excited about that. I haven't been able to get my hands on any yet. Um, I keep seeing pictures of people's stock everywhere for um, their Targets, their Walmarts that are absolutely loaded, and that is just not the case here. Um, I think it's going to eventually catch up where we may see some shelves like that around here, but... Um, for those of you that do follow our and are from like, you know, the Madison or even just Wisconsin in general, um, cause I've checked, you know, different stores in Milwaukee when I happen to have been out there and it's the same situation. So I think it may just be a matter of, you know, your local regions and whatnot. Um, but it's still being definitely bought up here. Um, anyways, uh, I digress a little bit here. I do, uh, just want to say that I, I do want to continue to keep making content. It doesn't always have to be about opening. Um, I actually had a nice, uh, we'll call it revelation the other day. I was, uh, went back and started watching the beginning of Joe Rogan's stuff for his podcast. Um, I, I really like Joe Rogan. Um, there's a bunch of other people that I listen to stuff to, you know, just for sure comedic purposes. I do think, you know, like Joe Rogan and, you know, like that whole group, Tom Segura, Burke Kreischer, Ari, jo uh, Joey Diaz, um, are, are just hilarious, and I love listening to them. It helps my my day and my mood greatly most of the time. Um, but just going back and watching his first podcast, um, you know, it was like 13 years ago. The guy is an absolute uh, superstar in the, you know, the podcasting world. He's got like 90 million followers. Um, and just to see where him starting at that um like it wasn't obviously like great production if you have time just go back and watch like the first five minutes of it it's actually pretty comical it's like him and brian uh red band setting up they're basically like they're doing the podcast like setting it up as they go and recording it and like you know like they were all excited like, we got like 11 people live right now and like just to think that he's at 90 million people I know I'm obviously not going to get to 90 million people, and that's not my goal. Um, but it just kind of gave me a kick in the butt to be like, you know, hey, like this doesn't always have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be spectacular. Um, but I think sometimes just people, you know, listening to you and hearing, you know, like you kind of go through things is just a different point of view for them. I, I think that's important. And just getting your your voice out there and how you feel and there's a lot of stuff I do want to talk about you know like we've had a lot of recent things like you know the Astros winning again um it does like their cheating scandal still kind of taint this World Series win um I, I think one of the funny things that came out of just seeing that was you know Jeremy Pena winning the World Series MVP and they cut to the studio and here's poor Carlos Correa sitting there having to interview the guy and he like he just left there and like you know that was probably pretty awkward for him um but I think he's in a better spot you know like personally for him especially monetarily um but just little things you know we got college basketball starting up here the Badgers look good last night football Badgers have been looking better the Packers look like an absolute dumpster fire um but that is what it is right now Anyways, um, I, I will be making content. It's not always just going to be opening. So I, I hope some of you enjoy, you know, stuff other than just uh, openings and content. And I would love to have ideas and, like, things you want to hear about and, you know, uh, just that sort of situation. So anyways, let's get into this. It's kind of been a long enough interview or interview intro. Um, but here we go. Okay.
going to save the uh, red, white, and blue pack for last. Um, you know, these, the main packs, obviously, you know, if you get one of the better rookies out of there, especially if it happens to be a silver, I'll be happy with that. Otherwise, I'm not really expecting a whole lot out of the base. Uh, we got a Cam Thomas, uh, Bill Russell, rest in peace. Uh, we got a Steve Nash. Uh, we got an Ant, uh, Jay Sean Tate, Paul Millsap. We got a Chris Duarte Emergent. We got a silver of Terrence Ross, a green of Marvin Bagley, uh, Norman Powell, Pascal Siakam, uh, and Malcolm Brogdon. So, like I said, nothing super spectacular in that first pack. So, let's hope we can pull a, a decent rookie out of the red, white, and blue here. That end does not want to open. Even if not, it's still fun to, to open. So, all right, here we go. We got a Patrick Williams. We got a, a Ben Simmons. He has been awful this year so far. I don't know what they're going to do with that poor guy. He's got a huge contract, and he is just a shell of himself. So, And a Pokashevsky. So not even a rookie in here. We will call that one. Not so hot, but still fun to open. That's the, the main thing. Um, thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in and listening to my uh, long-winded intro there. I hope it doesn't just everyone turn it off after a minute and be sick of it. So I will see you all hopefully tomorrow. All right. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of your night. Bye.